my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. I showed you guys these before, but they have another whole full display of the mugs, the skull, and the cute little ghosts. So I am here in my Dollar Tree in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And we're just gonna look around because Halloween is in full effect, okay? So is the fall. Let's see if they got anything new down this aisle that we have not seen. Nope. Still seeing all the same old stuff. I was looking to see if these uh, Christmas things had any decorations like the fall ones did. But nope, they're just the plain ones. Oh, these are cute. I don't think I ever saw those, y'all. This is really pretty, but I don't need any more fall stuff, so... The solid wood tabletop decor. Says thankful. I've seen all those. Alright. If I find anything else. The store is so busy. Oh, I already see some more stuff. Oh, they finally... Oh, yeah. I think this is where I found them at the first time. Or maybe the other Wake Forest store. But I showed y'all those already. Well, let's go over here because I already see something new. Well, new to me. They put out the Christmas ornaments, y'all. But they all look like they're from last year. I'm not seeing anything new yet. But I get excited when I see Christmas, y'all. Y'all know outside of fall, that is my favorite, favorite holiday. <clears throat> You would have thought I was deprived as a child, but I wasn't. <laughs> we had wonderful childhood Christmases. So, yeah, most of this stuff looks like it's from last year. So the two little ornaments with the snowman, the Santas, the stars. And they brought back out the uh, melanated ballerinas. So, yeah, all this stuff we've seen already. Nothing new yet, but it's nice to see the ornaments out. Oh, Cute. You football people, they got the football picks out here. 24 picks in a pack. They all look the same. Oh no, they got these right here. Then they have this down here. Is this a runner? Yep. This is a table runner. I think they had this last year. Looks like that. Then they have some tablecloths. It says game day. Those are cute for you football people. I used to be, oh, but I'm not anymore. I've seen these. These are Duke Squeaky Toys. Mega assortment. Hours of action pack. Fun exercise for dogs. And they have all kinds in here. A flip-flop. Oh, yeah. Squeaky, squeaky. Elephant. Oh, wow. I'm <laughs> sorry if I made your animal uh, jump. Teddy bears. They've got the football, it looks like. Oh, isn't that cute? Wow. They've got all kinds in here, y'all. Look at this. Now, those are cute. They even got a fish, a bone. <laughs> what is this supposed to be, a bone? <laughs> those are cute. Okay. I see you, Dollar Tree. this before, you guys. This is Spa Luxury Vanilla Bean Mineral Bath um, Salts. It is a six ounce bottle, and then they have one in peach berry mineral bath salt, and then they have another one in candy apple. Now, those are definitely new to me. Wow, look at that! I wonder how they yeah. smell out of these three. I like the peach berry the most. That vanilla bean is really, really sweet. And the candy apple was eh, it was okay. And that's just my personal opinion. You guys have to smell them on your own. But that peach berry smells really good. You know, wow. I see these Good Sense food storage bags. You get 40 bags in here and the ties. They look loose like that. I think I saw those on Marina's um, shop with me. But they also have the Good Sense Fold Top sandwich bags in a hundred. Wow. <laughs> And then they have the freezer store, well, storage bags, 11 bags from Good Sense. Mm, 
interesting. Oh, I see they have these. Uh, oh, gosh, thank you. <laughs> Standard Essentials Cleaning System, $1.25. You get three different um, pieces in here. It says three pieces, handle plus duster pads. So two duster pads and the handle for $1.25. Not bad. I see this okay. new bumblebee tuna. It looks new to me. I've never seen it. This is applewood smoke tuna. Ooh. No draining required. I've seen the sun-dried tomato, the cracked pepper, but I never saw this one. Hmm. I see they have the pretty candle holders that are not all meant up. I found one of these before, but it was all bent up. And then they have this one with the leaf on it. Very, very pretty. So they got plenty here. Yeah, look at these little fun in the tub contents. Six foam. These are Disney princesses. Six foam pieces. I don't know if they have any other ones. I see something else back there. Let's see what this one is. This one is Gabby's Dollhouse. Yep. Those are cute. Fun in the tub. Those are very cute. Alright, let me put these back. Okay, you guys. I'm in the second Dollar Tree in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And I see the Pac-Man. I see all the Trekkies. I see the waffles. Eggo waffles. Socks. I see another SpongeBob square pants. Oh, look at him. Another different Pac-Man. Pringles. Yeah, so they have a nice little variety here as well. Trekkies. Doritos. Okay. So I'm in. They've got all these tombstones up in the front of the stores. I guess trying to get rid of them. And here's our fall stuff. Showed you the um, color. Your own tablecloths already. These are a really good seller. Alright, let's get in here and look this around. Store also has out their Christmas ornaments. If you can believe that. <laughs> yes, they do. They've got more than the last door had. But they're all still from last year. I love these little um, ones where you can um, write on them. Put a name on them. I got her last year. They've got some scented sticks. I've never seen this before. This is a dollar twenty-five scented sticks. All right, let me open it up and smell it. Cause I have a scented broom. I want to go back to all these and get. Okay, these are all Fraser fir, and they smell like Christmas trees. I was trying to see if they had any different ones. Nope, but they're all Fraser fir. That's the first time I've seen those. Oh, I just showed you this one in the other store. Now I found this one. It says coffee in one hand, confidence in the other. Those are cute. This looks like it might... Nope, it's the same size. And they are double-sided. Those are cute. Now I'm standing up here online. And look what I found. An LED phone stand in the french fries. $1.25. Looks like this. And then they have the Space One LED phone stand. Those are so cute for only $1.25. Okay, so I'm here in my last store for Raleigh, North Carolina. And I see this Bugs Bunny and I did not see this one. Oh my God, he's so cute. I know I showed y'all some of my haul, but I did not see that one. I see Scooby-Doo. I think I've seen this one before. And more Scooby-Doo. And this is cute with the little van, Scooby-Doo van. And then they have Bart Simpson, The Simpsons. Yeah, so that's what I'm seeing so far, but Bugs Bunny's gotta come home with me. All right, let's get in here and look around, this see what we do to me. This is Extra Care Hair Removing Shower Cream, Sensitive Skin with Coconut Oil and Vitamin E, Long Lasting Smooth Skin Gentle Formula, and it's an eight ounce um, tube of hair removing shower cream. Mm. I've seen this, okay. I don't know what that says, but blush stick. This is in Perfect Peach. 
contains shea butter and vitamin E and it looks like this that's weird I've never seen that before hmm. these, these are so cute this is a four piece I don't know who that is Nicholas Miller Nicole Miller it's a headband two little bunny clips and a claw clip in the bunny isn't that cute for a dollar 25 and then they have this one Nicole Miller New York girls with these cute little sparkly little um, butter um, flowers in different colors and then they have the big claw clip and the small one and then they have this one up here which is really really nice Nicole Miller New York girls and you got your headbands your bobble headbands and then your butterfly um, clippings those are cute. I've never seen those before. Wow. Okay. Okay, my sweets. I'm finally home from my little road trip extravaganza. And yeah, the stores weren't um, hitting on a lot. But y'all know that don't mean we don't find something, right? So I'm going to show you the walkthrough before this. And then I'm just going to show you guys the few little items that I picked up. I'm filming in my kitchen. I just came in the house. And y'all, I'm ready to shut it down, okay? Because y'all know I'm old. I'm 64 years old. Getting ready, if God's will, to turn 65. So, But the first item I'm going to show you is this soap that I found. This is V-R-Y, very soft. It is pink grapefruit, pink, bleh, pink grapefruit beauty soap. It's vegan. It says it's with beauty cream ingredients. It says it's 94% natural. And I'm just like, what is this? I've never seen this. I hope you guys can see this. It smells good. I did crack it open. They are not wrapped inside. So when you take them out, you have to wrap it back up. It's a really pretty bar of soap. I'm not sure if I'll use this or not. But I saw it. It looks new. And I was like, hmm, did I get this? I don't know. But they're cute little. It's a beauty bar. So it's saying. But it's so soft and um, smooth. I can't get it out. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, wow. See how silky and soft it is, y'all? I hope you guys can see that. So, yeah, you get one pack with four bars in here, okay, for $1.25. So, I picked it up. I'm going to wrap that back up real nice and tight so it doesn't do anything on me. And then I found this item right here by Spa Luxury. You'll see in the walkthrough before this haul. There were three of them, and I only like this one. It's Spa Luxury Peach Berry Scent Mineral Bath Salt. It's a six-ounce thing, and you can hear the bath salts in there. Look at that. I was like, oh, what is this? Now, I started not to get it, but I was like, you know what? I could put this in my foot fixer, and it really does... To me, it smells like tea, but it says um, peach berry, so you got a little bit of both. Oh, my God, and I wish you guys could see. It looks like those um, little crystals that we put in our um, laundry detergent, if you could see those. But, yeah, I said I'll figure out something to do with it because it smells so good, and it, the packaging was so pretty, you guys. I hope you guys can see me okay. But this is what it looks like, Spa Luxury Peach Berry Scent Mineral Bath Salt. They had, I can't think of the other two, but you'll see it in the walkthrough before this. Um, the store and Wake Forest only had one of these left, and the box was a little on the feet up side, but it hadn't been opened. It was still taped, so I picked one up. These are the two-pack scalp massagers. Includes two massagers, removable pads for easy cleaning, use wet or dry. And I've been seeing these on a lot of people's hauls and walkthroughs and shop with me. And I don't need a scalp massager, but I could probably use a new one. So it looks, they look really big and nice. Let me see if I can't open this. And I can always share these or give both my sisters one each. 
because I have the Dollar Tree scalp massager that I've been using for years, y'all, and I love it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So they look like this. These are nice and soft. Oh, oh yeah, this might be nice. And, and you should be massaging your scalp so that you can get the dead skin off and open up your um, pores so your new um, hair can grow in. So this one came with the pink and the black. So the black one comes with the pink bristles like this and it's black on the side on the outside and it's pink on the outside and black on the inside. I thought that was great for $1.25, two mints in one, <laughs> okay? Okay, my sweets, as I always do, I'm just grabbing and showing you guys because I'm really ready to go and shut it down, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys. I did find some more True Lemon. Every time I go on the road, y'all, I find the True Lemon, but it's really, really hard to find down here in my area. So I picked up another box of my True Lemon. I told y'all before, this is how I keep it in my lemon glass. And when it gets, you know, starting to get low, I just take these out, put the new ones in, and, you know, first in, first out. So, yeah, I just got one. They had oodles and oodles and oodles. So, I just picked up one. And the cell glide date is typically in the box, so it makes it a little difficult to see. But it looks like it is um, August 1st of 2027. So, True Lemon. I love this stuff, okay? And the Wake Forest store had the Minute Maid 100% orange juice, 12 fluid ounces. Now, I think the Donald Ducks used to be 16 or 20 ounces. I'm not sure because I haven't seen them in so long. But I was really, really happy to find some Minute Maid orange juice. Y'all know it's a diabetic. We need to keep orange juice in our refrigerator or in our cabinets at all times when we have those low blood sugars. And one of the items that will get your sugar back up, you know, lickety split, is orange juice. Plus, I just like orange juice. I'm trying to find the best buy date on here for you guys. But I was happy to see the Minute Maid back in here. I'm not seeing it right now. If I find it, I'll put it in the video when I edit this. So, yeah. I got me two Minute Maid. These are only 12 ounces, but that's better than the other one that they had, which was only 8 ounces. So, I got two of those. And then it's just hodgepodge. I finally, finally found my Hostess Donuts. The Donuts. Um, these are the new Honey Bun ones. And they only had two left. And I kind of smushed mine up. You can see it. It's a Honey Bun don Donut, y'all. I was like, can you see that? So I picked up, this one might be a little bit better. I picked up two of them because I'm really, really excited to try them. This will probably be my dessert after my dinner tonight. So I got two and it does say new. And they are honey bun. Honey bun donuts, y'all. What? Yes, please. Give me my diabetic uh, but some honey bun donuts, okay? <laughs> And then I, sh I was showing you guys these Good Sense food storage bags. These are 40 bags plus ties. They're 11 inches by 12 and a half inches, gallon sizes. And these are different. They look different. You see how they look right there? So you get the loose bags and then you get the ties, but you get 40 of them in here. Bag's kind of thin, but you know, I mean, a box is kind of thin. But I was like, I want to try them because y'all know. I'm always, well, they're kind of thin, y'all. Yeah, they're really, really, really thin. <laughs> but you just put your stuff in them, and then you tie them, and you keep your stuff stored. So for 40 of them, for $1.25, I was like, yes, please. Okay, yes, please. Sweets, I was <laughs> taking the trash out today before I left, and I was like, where are my flex garbage bags? I have all different kinds of garbage bags under my sink right now, but I had like one flex garbage bag left. So when I saw them again, my Dollar Trees don't have them, but these are the Essentials Tall Kitchen garbage bags, and these are the flex ones, and these are the only ones that I will buy from the Dollar Tree unless I get some from the Dollar Tree Plus aisle. And these are, you only get seven, but they're worth it, okay? So I got 14 because I bought two. I saw them again at another store, but I said that's enough for right now. And then I found this Standard Essentials Cleaning System. It's a duster kit. It's 360 picks up 
360 degrees, picks up dirt and hair, and you get the handle plus duster pad. So includes two disposable dusters, one collapsible handle. Now typically when I buy these from the Dollar Tree, the handles always malfunction on me. Like they won't stay clicked, you know, when you fold them and take them out of the folding position. But I was like, hmm, three pieces for $1.25. I'll take it. I'll try it. You know, I'm like, why not, right? So, thank God I'm right here with the scissors, y'all. Um, so, let's see. So, we've got this one right here. And it's, I guess it has two. And you have, oh, look at that handle. Oh, oh my. That handle is nice. It's not like the other one, y'all. Now, I don't know how to, I don't want to break this. Is there some, oh, okay. I'm supposed to push it that button right there you push it to extend it and then you push it to fold it back down that's nice okay I didn't even know all that now this is a much better product than the regular one that they carry and you get two dusters in this bag so I grab that because y'all know more bang for your buck that's how I roll more bang for your buck that's how oh. am I still on camera no <laughs> I always buy this box of tissues, these kind of tissues for my coffee table because my coffee table is small, so I don't want a big box of tissues, even though y'all saw me just haul the 160 count Scotties, that's for everything else, the bathroom, the bedroom, blah, 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 yada, yada, but I always get a box of these for my um, living room table, which is my mama's, and I got, I always get the triple um, soft ones. So I bought a box of these in my mama's green. <laughs> so I, cause mine, the box that I have on the table now is getting ready to run out. So you get, la 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 la, you get, this is triple soft aloe. You get three layers of softness and you get 54 tissues. So I grabbed that cause I know I'm getting ready to run out. And while I was standing at the register at the second Dollar Tree, in Wake Forest, they had these LED phone stands, and I was like, oh, how cute. Now, did I need this? Of course not. But they had the French fry one, and they had the spaceship one, and I just chose the French fry one. I said, I'll give it a try. I bought several, several phone stands from the Dollar Tree, and they end up in the trash, or I give them away to a kid, but I couldn't resist. I was like, you know, come on, a girl's going to have some fun some fun, right? I mean, I try to go into Dollar Tree and really just get what I need and some, a few things that I might want. But this is cute as I don't know what. This is so cute, y'all. I was like, does it take batteries? Because there's a compartment back there. Look at that. That is so cute. Let me see what this thing is saying. Oh, the LED lamp. So, yeah, it must take batteries. Yeah, it requires three um, AAA batteries. Oh, I can't wait to put the batteries in this and see what it looks like. But isn't that darling? Y'all know, I tell you all the time, I'm just a big kid. I'm just a big kid. Okay, I'm let's move on. I ran and put some batteries in this real quick because I wanted to see what it looked like. It has a button right on the side and you just press that button. Isn't that cute for a dollar twenty-five? And it looks like it might hold your phone really well. I just thought it was so cute. I'm kind of wishing I had bought the spaceship one too, because I can only imagine what that one looked like. But onward and upward, I found this at the second Wake Forest store. I love succulents, y'all, whether they're live or fake. This was in the Crafter Square section, and they had multiple, but none of them had a price on them. So I took it up to the register, and I said, can you scan that? And she said, well, it wouldn't scan. It wouldn't scan at all. But she was like, it feels like it might be a $5 item. I said, yeah, I thought so too, but she gave it to me for $1.25, y'all. Isn't that cute? I was just like, oh my lord. I will find some place to sit this because, like I said, I love succulents. But I was like, are you kidding me? It just had a tag on it, but it would not scan. And they had several of them, and none of them had the price on it. So I got that for a dollar 
Della 25. And then I got some albacore tuna. Um, not albacore, excuse me. This is wild caught tuna, naturally flavored, applewood smoke. 2.5 ounces, no draining required, 15 grams of protein. I've never seen this one before. Y'all know every time I see an, a new tuna in this um, Dollar Tree, I grab it. This is Best by February 2026, and it looks like this. Applewood smoked tuna, y'all. I was like, what? Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I know this video is going to be too long. This was written in Chinese or Korean or something. This is a blush stick, and it's um, perfect peach. A lot of peach stuff today, y'all. <laughs> Contains shea butter and vitamin E, and it's so cute. It's a net weight of 0. I'm um, 0. 014 ounces. And it just says contains shea butter, vitamin E, and it looks like this. I was like, huh? What is this? This is supposed to be a blush. So it says blush stick, and it's got the little uh, kitty on here, if you could see it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not, because my lighting is not that great here in the kitchen, but... I'm trying to get this done so we can move on. Oh, pretty packaging, y'all. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Let me see. Isn't that cute? And it's supposed to be... Oh, it smells good. A blush stick? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Y'all know I don't typically put stuff on my face, but I had to try this out. I could have put it on the back of my hand, but... Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Can y'all see that? So, yeah, I've never seen... Oh, it smells so good. Sorry, I can't stop smelling it. But I've never seen that, so I just picked up one. I found this down at the Triangle Town Dollar Tree across from the Triangle Town Mall in Raleigh, North Carolina. I've been eyeballing these um, shoe charms, and I really don't need them because I really went overboard from Timu with the shoe charms. And I only have two pairs of Crocs so so far. I plan on getting more, but I just could not pass these by one more time. One is a bowl of sushi, a flour, french fries, and the boba tea. And I'm like, they had another one out there with the football, basketball, and something else. But look at the boba tea. And the sushi, and the flour, and the french fries. I was like, okay, you get four for a dollar twenty-five. So I grabbed those. And then I found this, um, what is it called? Must Have Beauty Silicone Lip Scrubbers. I've purchased these in the past, but not from Must Have Beauty. And so I said, give lips a fuller appearance. I don't need that. But it's an exfoliator for your lips, okay? And I just thought it was so cute. So I grabbed one pack of these. I saw some really cute stuff in the... Dollar Tree across from the Triangle Town Mall, but I did not purchase any of them because I didn't need it. But a good lips um, exfoliator is needed. So my lips are always chapped, so I have to go in with that exfoliator. And I showed you guys these Looney Tunes socks in the walkthrough, and I had to get them. I only bought one pair of socks today, so I think I did really good. But the picture of Bugs Bunny on here is so much more vivid and so much more pro uh, prominent. And it's blue. I was just like, I got to have these. These are 6 to 12, I, I believe. Um, la, 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 la. Yeah. 6 to 12. Okay. And they're the Looney Tune ones. So that was the only pair of socks I purchased today. And the last item in this haul for today is I found my Disney Princess Tiana. And this is just going in with my um, toy collection in my bedroom. And she was the last one, and I had to get her. I'm like, linen things, we love our Tiana. And when I saw her, I was like, yes, please. I wasn't even expecting to see her because I hadn't seen her in any of my stores. And out of all the characters that they had there today, they only had one Tiana left. So I grabbed that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and everyone have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.
Bye, guys.